Welcome back, everyone, to the Serpent Resurrection Talk Through. The Serious Cackle Demon here. We're going to be visiting our next village today. But first, uh, take out those Chaos Serpents and uh, do some shopping at the Items and Magic Shop. Also, I leveled up uh, in the previous part, so I should be using my skill points that I earned right now and uh, level up uh, in a tribute. Two points to dexterity. Restore some of my mana in the process as well, and uh, now let's head to the next village, which wasn't the one that we passed right now. The village we're heading to next is uh, right this way. And the way is guarded by Chaos Serpent, which, uh, of course, easily taken care of. And now, we are at the Village of Oceanus. This village is, of course, water-themed, so uh, the water inside will have a lot of aquatic enemies in there. There are three secrets in this entire map, and none of them require an artifact to get to. So yeah. You do not need to use an artifact to get to any of the secrets in this map. We now have the ruby and emerald keys, so we can visit more houses and places in this village right off the bat. And of course, there's fireball shooting enemies uh, across this map, uh, just like in the, the Village of Prometheus. Except, unlike the Village of Prometheus, the fireball shooters are more tolerable, as in, there's uh, fewer of them. In fact, there's only three across uh, this side of the map. And of course, uh, getting to them is easier than it was in the Village of Prometheus. With the village of Prometheus, uh, there were six were dragons opening fire on you, and, uh, and to get rid of them all, you had to be in the line of fire uh, along the way. Here, you don't need to be in the line of fire as much. Oh, only two of them? Oh well. Let's take out the fireball shooters right away. And then we're gonna go across by pulling the switch and getting on the platform. By the way, walk along the platform, uh, because, uh, the platform doesn't automatically move you forward. I guess it's a limitation to Jesus Doom, as in, uh, it doesn't allow, uh, three, four polyobs. And man, uh, I have horrible aim uh, with the uh, Firestorm, like, I wasted some mana on shots that uh, hit uh, walls instead of enemies. Anyways, uh, go inside this place and we'll find a bag of gold inside. Now, uh, go around here and uh, take out the Chaos Serpent here. Now I'm going to switch to the uh, poison vial in my inventory because... Yes, there's slot tours in there. Push that uh, poison gas cloud away. Pick up the mana crystals that we can pick up and... Look at here, another one of these switches. One third of the puzzle has been solved in the water village. Then before I get back across, I'm going to visit this house. And there's some ends in there. Steal some life from them with the serpent staff. And there's not much in here except the time bomb, the ancients, and this uh, journal entry. I don't believe it. The monsters have taken the water too, with nasty fish. One bit me hard, and I managed to struggle up to the hidden cave and exit the tavern. The temple priests healed me. 
make note of that. Uh, not the fact of the temple priests that healed him, but uh, the secret passage underwater. <clears throat> now, go back or... What the heck? Uh... This just... this The platform just bugged. I'm not kidding. Look what happened to the platform here. Wow. Just wow. No words can describe what just happened there. And the funny thing is, I've had it happen before in a run where I uh, failed before. So it's uh, funny I have that to happen to me again. Anyways, let's search for some secrets right now. Well, the one that uh, we uh, overlooked uh, when we uh, first uh, went past here because of the fireball shooting uh, Chaos Serpents. Didn't want to get pelted by fireballs uh, just getting to the secret and uh, lose uh, a lot of unnecessary... Uh, uh, lose a lot of health unnecessarily, I mean. Now we can continue along normally. Both of these doors are locked with key locks, which we can open right now because we have the ruby and emerald keys. Gas this entrance because there's uh, slot tours on this end, and this end just has a centaur. So you can just safely whack it with your mace. Get the leather greaves inside the closet, and then let's head back to where the slot tours used to be. More uh, mana, and another one of those switches. So now we solved two-thirds of the puzzle for this village. Next stop is the village hall. Now, like the other villages, melee enemies inside and a slot or shooting fireballs from atop the podium area thing. And, uh, that slaughter was guarding these potions. Potions of water breathing. And what the? Anyways, uh, <clears throat> bloody, uh, wild hound. Anyways, what the potions of water breathing do is, if you use one underwater, your air supply is replenished. And when you generally use a potion of water breathing, uh, you're able to breathe underwater for 30 seconds from the moment you use one. Now, this is a holy temple. Welcome to our holy temple. If you wish to make a donation of 100 gold, you can ask our healer to heal you by stepping into a pool, or you can offer a prayer for magic by stepping up to the altar. 100 gold for more magic or full healing at this point. I'll let Sam Serious Stone, uh, sum it up. It's a ripoff! Indeed it is. Like, I could spend 90 gold and get, like, six magic rings or three uh, potions of life that heal me up to full instead of, uh, visiting the Holy Temple to, uh, get more magic or heal up fully. Now, uh, next secret is around this building. At the end, there is a pair of boots of speed. Also, I'm gonna save here because I don't want to fall into the water. Yet, I make the jump successfully anyways. Now, uh, one more secret to go to before we're done uh, on the land uh, of this area. It's around the village hall, this secret. This is perhaps the hardest secret of its type for this area. And I failed. Ah! 
I made it this time. Anyways, there was a siren orb there. Now, I don't find siren orbs that useful, but what I believe they do is they uh, cause enemies to attack the siren orb instead of you. Now, I'm already full on artifacts, so I can't pick up any more time bombs or potions of life. You know, I should uh, equip the uh, the time bomb. It is useful for taking out huge groups of underwater enemies. Yep, it works underwater. You know, time to use a uh, potion of water breathing. Check around uh, the shipwrecks and stuff if you can find them. You'll find lots of good items there. Mana batteries and such. Well, hi there, uh, destroyed uh, platform thing, because uh, Shark uh, glitched it up. Uh, I'm still baffled by how that shark managed to glitch up that platform in the first place. Uh, the Ultimate Doomer, if you're watching this, uh, you might want to do something about the glitched platform stuff. It's not, uh, game-breaking, but, uh, it is very strange that something like that happened. Anyways, uh, continue swimming around here. Take out, uh, enemies underwater. Now, the, uh, sharks and mutant fish themselves aren't difficult, but, uh... But, uh, groups of them can be a pain. Whoa! Oh, well. Gives me an excuse to use some potions of life. Because I'm full on them. This cave has a power scroll besides a potion of life in there. Oh, while I'm at it. Ow, ow! And I almost used a uh, potion of fire protection in an underwater area. Now, go here next. Uh, go up and, uh... And we encounter some wild hounds up here. And a poison vial. And a way back out. However, uh, we don't want to be back uh, on the surface yet. We still need to head for the key. But I think I'm going to save getting the key for the next part. I want to continue exploring and uh, get to the other underwater caves. And besides, the good thing about going back to the tavern is to get the crystal vials I couldn't pick up before. Check for, uh, there's a magic ring over here. Now swim this way. Oh wait, I went there already. Isn't there one more cave I can visit? Well, guess not. Uh, I pretty much uh, picked cleaned uh, the underwater part uh, for this area. Well, uh, I'm going to take out the rest of these enemies here and uh, call it a video. Get up here, go on this broken platform, and I'm going to save right here. Next part, we're going to finish up uh, the, uh, the village of Oceanus, and then head for the next village afterwards. So until next time, everyone, see ya!